Okay, so check this out. I'm in the uh, Nevada, and as you can see, it's snowing. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's June 29th, 2020, and it's uh, I'm camping down the canyon. It was starting to snow down there. Look at this. So I'm not going to be getting any pictures tonight at sunset. <laughs> This is so cool though. It's like 34 degrees, just barely above freezing, and, but it's sticking. <laughs> anyway, I'm having fun. <laughs> so when you run into stormy conditions, snowstorm in the summer, what do you do? You photograph it. <laughs> so I decided to do a bunch of photographs of the scenes in black and white. I mean, it was black and white. And just concentrated on the mountain peaks there, on the awesome clouds coming in, the snow, the ridge lines, as, as you can see, um, trees covered in snow, ledges, just really, I went to town, just with the long lens, uh, 70 to 200, even to 300, and uh, just, finding interesting subjects to photograph as you can see here this one was one of my favorites this one and and the next one with these cool trees and then my favorite of the whole sh of the whole night was this one right here i just really loved that uh, this area's got some great trees oh i forgot about this one my panoramic this is a, a vertical shot stitched together that is phenomenal blown up um, this was actually what I went to photograph was this scene here and uh, I got it in black and white Well, it's June 30th 2020 and I'm freezing my butt off <laughs> I am uh, in the mountains Look at that behind me It really, really snowed last night. I mean, there was a lot of snow, even right in here where I'm standing, well, about an inch, right in here where I'm standing, and it warmed up. But it's uh, still a lot of snow up in the high, on the high stuff. I mean, a couple, you know, probably a couple inches for this time of year, that's a lot of snow. Check that out. Hoping the, the light does something. It's been, you know, pretty overcast and I don't think the sun's up yet though. It's like five o'clock, five thirty. Um it's hard to tell because there's so many clouds. <laughs> Adventures of me. Well, it's about 7:30 local time, and uh, the clouds have been pulling away, and it's gotten nice. Look at this behind me. This is looking down the canyon. This is looking up the canyon. I've been up there photographing off these beaver ponds. And, uh, it's just so beautiful. Still snowing patches on the ground. The sun's not got in here yet. It took a while for the after the sun came up for the for the clouds to start pulling away and giving me some decent light. But it's still pretty good. You know, it's it's not bad. So this is day two. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 
It's uh, July, uh, June 30th. It's Tuesday, June 30th, and it's uh, it snowed on the mountains. It's cold. It's probably probably 40, 45 degrees right here right now. It's kind of frigid, actually, for me. I used to not ever get cold, but uh, I'm going through menopause. That's what the doctor told me. He says, well, you're getting old. That's why you're getting cold so easy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll show you this again. Isn't that just beautiful? There it is as a still photograph. That turned out really nice. I was so happy with that image. This one is looking back up the canyon. And um, I really like this, the, the trail, the leading lines. Here's uh, one over the, one of the beaver ponds. I love that little waterfall coming out. Liked it so much, I did another one a little closer up. I couldn't decide which ones I liked the best, so I put them both on here. <laughs> This one I really do like. And then this is uh, looking across the beaver pond. A little windy at the morning. Didn't get as good as reflection this day, but um, it still looked really nice. I, I really liked the clouds, the, um, the light hitting the mountains. Ah, my phone is propped up in a tree. <laughs> and I'm chilling out here. At my campsite, middle of the day, nothing to do but chill out. I'm going to play you a song. This is a Highland Traveler that I wrote. Let's see if I can play it all the way through without screwing up. Guess not. <laughs> Let me start over.
the stream is running right there. I mean, literally, you could probably hear it. Probably can't hear the guitar very well. Well, I decided to take a hike. <laughs> I am uh, about two, maybe two and a half miles back in up this big glacial uh, canyon. Check this out behind me. Isn't that just glorious? And that's where I came from, was way back down there. I am having lots of fun. Not the best time of day to be taking photographs. The sun's a little high, but I set up and did a panoramic of this scene. Um, when the sun goes behind the clouds, it makes it a little bit better. So, I'll see what I got. You know, may not be really, really spectacular, but I like the blue sky and the clouds. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just, it's the feeling that that whole cool scene, it doesn't have to be a fantastic sunset sky. It doesn't have to be first early morning or, you know, the last bit of light hitting the peak. Sometimes it can just be, you know, late afternoon and uh, the sun shining in the area and the, the scene is spectacular and the clouds are right and the lights good hitting the mountains and so I do it, you know. Some people only do those really moody early morning shots, you know, or, or just, you know, sundown shots and sometimes I don't. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh, what I'm doing today. I got up at this morning and photographed those other areas up up the canyon at those beaver ponds and the clouds and snow and and uh, and then I uh, went back to the town and went back to the car I mean and and uh, actually went into town and grabbed a couple things and came back and found my campsite was stolen they stole my chair and and left there and put their own claim ticket on there and uh, and left so hopefully they come back and I can tell them I want my chair back they'll probably say we threw it in the dumpster or whatever but who knows anyway <laughs> I, I, I snagged the campsite next door it was open you know completely open and uh, messed around for a while dried my boots off played the guitar and then decided to take a hike so this is just glorious isn't it let me show this to you again I could sit and listen to that sound of the, the gurgling stream and the birds all day long. Here's a waterfall that intrigued me when I was hiking up this. So on the way back out, I, I, I kind of parked it here and uh, been photographing it. So, you notice the sun is out and shining on it. That's a problem when you're photographing a waterfall. You've got to set your ISO as low as you can go 
and then uh, I stop down all the way to F22 and that will give you a shutter speed that's relatively low. Um, I'm shooting this at about one second, not when the sun is out. Notice it just went behind a cloud and it's uh, only about 10 minutes from going behind the mountain but when it goes behind the cloud it gets significantly darker and I'm able to photograph it. I really like though when it goes behind the cloud you see that tree right up in there gets that nice side light from the light coming down through the, uh, the mountain up there and uh, it really gives it a nice effect. I'm waiting for it to go behind the mountain too just to see what I get but um, you can shoot on a cloudy day if the sun goes behind nice thick clouds and uh, it can give some nice lighting effects too so that's uh, what I'm doing here I uh, just saw this wonderful waterfall I love the pine trees that one those up in there this nice little cove Right, let me let me show you. So this nice little cove right back up under there. Um, there's a pool right there on a hot day. I would be really tempted to go climbing that and take a bath. I've done that many times over the years. Um, a little more susceptible to cold nowadays, so I can't do that. But uh, and it's not that hot up here. It's nice. Isn't that just nice? Even when the sun's not behind the cloud, it's uh, it's really pretty. But you can't photograph it like that. The dynamic range is too high between the highlights and the shadows, and it ends up causing um, just too much contrast. And you know, you can't, it's hard to get. It blows out the whites, and then you lose the shadow detail. It's best to, uh, to try to find it where you can have a nice average exposure across the range. The water's going to be brighter and that's the way the water's white. So just wait for the sun to go behind the cloud or behind the mountain. <laughs> so here's the finished photograph of the waterfall. This was a 1.6 seconds at uh, ISO 31 and f-stop set at 22. I just love how this turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Please subscribe. I could really use it. <laughs> uh, happy trails!